Final question here has to do with, you know, is it possible uh, or are you open to or is it easy to believe that we live on an old earth, that animals evolved, but maybe God specially created Adam and Eve and that humans did not evolve? What are your thoughts on that, Jimmy? Well, so is it easier to believe that than what alternative? The alternative being both uh, young Earth creationism oh, and no evolution. Well, I, I would say, yeah, it's uh, because it would account for more of the data. We have very good data that the Earth and the universe are old, and we have uh, very good data that life forms on Earth um, evolved. And if you just may, and, and also the Christian faith teaches God did do something exceptional in the case of man because he created our souls. Um, so if you want to make a one little addition for, he also specially created our bodies. Well, yeah, you, that still leaves most of the data being explained in a way that young earth creationism doesn't explain it. So it would be easier from that perspective. Mm -hmm. I would say it still doesn't solve the the prime my primary two arguments, which is from a global flood and a literal reading of the chronologies in Genesis five and eleven. I don't want to go here and restate all my arguments for that, because I made that in my opening, but I think that those issues still remain. I also think, from a scientific perspective, it does seem humans had children with um, Homo neanderthalus and Homo denisovan, and so. This, this creates an issue of, are we going to push back now? The, the last common ancestor on a secular account of those was Homo erectus. So are we going to push back then and say that um, Adam and Eve were Homo erectus and lived about 2 million years ago? Or do we want to go back even further that Homo naledi, which is very similar to Homo erectus, buried its dead? There is very good evidence of this because we discovered the bodies of Homo naledi in what's very clearly a burial chamber. Um, Dr. Todd Wood has done a lot of good work to show Homo naledi was definitely formed by burial. But I would also then point to Dr. Todd Wood's work showing that there's a significant gap between um, the Homo genus and the Australopithecus genus um, statistically. And when he's found new fossils, he actually created this before Homo naledi, for example, and goes and adds them in, he finds that they significantly nest with one group or the other. And when he's doing this on lots of other mammals, similar gaps of where we would expect come about. So it simply seems to me that after the flood, um, either right before the dispersion from Babel or shortly afterwards, there was a higher genetic diversity among humans at the time. And that's why we see these other human species. They're not, they're, they were really just other types of humans as well. Okay. Um, that d differed more genetically than people would now. So I would say that that's an issue that any old Earth creationist is going to have to significantly solve, is why okay. are there species mil from millions of years ago that seem to clearly be genetically related to humans? Okay. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.